Okay, go. Okay, uh, Whaley Board of Assessors meeting on April 11th uh, at 12.30 p.m. So, uh, open the meeting. Uh, we have several agenda items here to discuss. Uh, since our last meeting we had on March 20th, we've been interviewing applicants for the assistant assessor position. We've had, I don't know, five or six applicants. Uh, we've interviewed, of the, I think, six that we've interviewed uh, after discussing uh, position with them and responsibilities. I think five of the six have officially declined. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah, five of the six uh, have officially declined. We have one still hanging and uh, we haven't responded back. And we also got the consultant that we've been uh, dealing with uh, as another option. Uh, yeah. There's one, there's one position, one applicant that uh, from Hatfield, I'll say that that has shown oh, an interest. Okay. Yeah, yeah, has shown an interest in it. Uh, uh, we met with her, and it, she has very limited uh, real estate or assessing experience, so it would be a, a a challenge to bring her on board and to provide training. So. We have to spend time doing that. So uh, that was just last week. We we interviewed her. Uh, haven't gotten back to her. So that that's the only the only possible option. Well, one option right now is to try to work with that person or to go with a consultant that has offered us a proposal. Uh, uh, scope of work. Uh, had some discussions with them. The, the consultant is our, well, it says it's RRG out of Lemonster, Mass, that has been working with about 30, 30 other communities in in town, uh, in, 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 in the state, 30 other communities in the state. Uh, the most current ones that he's dealing with are already have contracts with New Salem, Wendell, and some in Orange. And I think maybe Greenfield, they do some work. Uh, but two of the, the communities, that's their sole contact and assessor is through this company, RRG. So, uh, okay, just uh, Jenny just joined us, just saying that of the, we have six applicants for the position, five have after interviews declined the position. All right. We still have one that's still. Still available, but would need a lot of a training because she has very limited experience or they have very limited experience. So the other option is a consultant, RRG, that we got a proposal from. Uh, they are also dealing with Conway. as another community to add to, to the 30 that are plus that they already have. Uh, and they're looking at hiring another person from, I guess, Amherst to work right. with the two towns, Waylee and Conway. We've seen, uh, we had a joint meeting with, with Conway, oh, almost a month ago, I guess, talk about the proposal and uh, how this would, how the town would function with a consultant that was, Part time in the office and the rest of the time was be remote. Uh, and you, as you can see, the, the the two that are in Franklin County that I sent you that are remote are, you know, their web page is, is Wendell and New Salem is how they're dealing with it. Uh, it doesn't say there's a person in the office on either one of them. It just said doing remote, call that number and they'll answer your questions. Yeah. Uh, is that acceptable? Or do it we... must be, yeah, it must be. To well, the... I'm saying, is, would it be acceptable to us? Well, I that's what we, we, our... yeah. we, have to, we have to decide. Well, decide that how many hours or days do we want that person in the office, if we want them here in the office at all. And, and the other thing we've got to deal with is how to legally hire that person, because we have to go through a, RFP process to advertise the bids or not, because we're only dealing with that one. And 
I guess there may be others out there, but we're not sure. What have other communities done? Well, you know? that's what we're working on. It's some some are doing, I, I guess you call it a sole source option, and others, the larger communities we're hearing is going through our RFP process. Uh, Lynn is working with uh, developing an RFP. She got an example from one of the communities out near Boston to uh, uh, to develop a, an RFP using their 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 template and adjusting it. For What's an RFP? Request for proposal. We have okay. to advertise for bids okay. to go. Even though we've been dealing just with this one consultant, yeah, 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 and that's kind of all we knew or heard is available. From other communities yeah, around, yeah. Uh, there is is some other consultants. There are some other consultants, but we haven't approached them yet as doing everything for the town. As you can see in our in our budget, there there is two or three other consultants that do work. Not everything, though, like RRG is. So if uh, if we decide to go with with this consultant, we have to advertise. Uh, in the newspapers and whatever, uh, and and get well. There's two. There's two ways of doing it. You depending on the length of the contract that we're looking for. If it's one year contract, we could do just invite three companies to submit bids, and then hopefully RRG would be one of them and, and pick the company that we want. Or if you go for more than a one year contract. Then you have to advertise in the newspaper and whatever online and see who you get. Uh, they've submitted a we've got a proposal from RRG for for well two years plus we got this interim year we the rest of this fiscal year we got to deal with what do we do between now and June thirtieth. They've given us a, a prorated amount for the for the two months assuming they start around May first. And that was the other thing, looking at the budget. Do we have money in there for that consultant? And you can see I, I, I've been working some with the budget, some with some with Lynn here, uh, showing that we, we do have either roughly uh, seven or $8,000 left in the current budget, forecasting through the end of this fiscal year that we have available for uh, hiring RRG or another consultant for that time period. Uh, that's within their, their proposal for the uh, to do work for two months. That's within their, their bid amount. Two uh, months? I thought you said it would be May to June. May and June. Oh, okay. May and June. Okay. And then the other part is the other budget I, I submitted was the uh, uh, fiscal year, the fiscal year 25, the budget if we hired a a consultant, what would what would the increase be in that budget and amount for for next year? Uh, and you can see uh, we do go with a consultant. We're looking at thirteen percent increase. So uh, that's really the only the only option we we have. Uh, so if okay, so. We don't know yet if we have to advertise, you know, for the for, and get three different ones, or you're saying we do have to do that. Well, that's part of what, okay. what we do have the to board do. here. One thing we have to decide on do we want a one year contract or three year or, or, or two year, I should say. Is one cheaper than three the other? Year. I mean, do no. they give you a break? Okay. Yeah, they, so why don't we get a one to see if we like them or not? Well, that's that's a possibility. I right. think. I'm the percent increase. Well, a couple of questions. One, you referred to talking about hiring this individual, but we don't, it's an either or, right? Right. It's either hiring an individual who right. has a lot to learn, right. or it's hiring the consultant, in which case there wouldn't be a hire or of an individual. It'd be the firm. Right. Yeah. Okay. The firm would do the hiring and the training and whatever benefits and all the, the things required for employing that employing that person. So that that's yeah, that's the option we're we're facing. And uh 
Well, that's the first thing I guess we have to decide. Do we want to go with a, with a consultant who would do all that, provide training, and then we can talk of, of, you know, once we decide that, do we want that person in the office here and how many days a week? Uh, or this other person is still interested that, you know, somebody's going to provide training for Cynthia offered, but just during the month of April. Uh, yeah, one day a week. So, yeah, one yeah. day a week, and this person knows very little. So, you know, yeah. it's going to come to is it any of the three of us yeah. want to yeah. train him or not? Well, and what can I train her? I know. I... I know. We don't know that much about what she does, everything she did. So, I guess first, my recommendation is we go we go with a consultant. That's my recommendation also with the consultant. Oh, okay. I don't think that. there's uh, much choice because, especially because of the training. Right. And then, but I have a question. Well, wait they... first. Okay, let's, okay. You, yeah. you feel we should go to consult. Okay, Jenny, what is your, what are your thoughts? What do you, yeah. Well, let me ask this. Why did the five people who applied withdraw? Too much work? Hmm. Well, the first, the first two, we, we, we didn't give a, a, uh, a current no, it was a current job description, and I think some of that may have scared them away. Uh, and after the interviews, they they realized more of what was involved and the the activities they would be involved in. And one was uh, I'm trying to think. One one two of them were retired and looking for part time work. And that yeah, and one decided he didn't want to get that involved with town, town administration stuff, and and the other one was part part time working for uh, say Franklin County, in Franklin County, and would take a cut in salary, and we couldn't guarantee him more than 16, 16 hours part time, because that's the way it was advertised: part time, sixteen right. hours, non benefited. So he withdrew because he'd take a salary cut to come here. That yeah. person would, and he and he finally decided he can't can't do that. Right. And the one we have left now is a retired, uh, what I want to say, uh, teacher, teacher, instructor, administrator, work UMass and work some in, in Vermont with with mediation and like education education programs that I, I guess. So should, there aren't a. Uh, it it seems like. The direction for this kind of work yeah. is going to be this for a small town that can only offer part time. It's going to be either combining right. positions with right. another town right. or um, or this kind of route right. with consultants right. with a firm that does that already. Right. 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 And and other other communities have, have well I know for sure Conway has reached out and yeah. looked to hire somebody. They yeah. interviewed a few people. They said, but none of them uh, I guess qualified or didn't or weren't offered a position. Okay. So their their option was to go with uh, with a consultant. So are they definitely going with a consultant? Yes or no? Is Conway going with a consultant? I, I can't say oh. I can't say okay. yes or no. It's leaning that way. I, I can say I don't think they voted or decided yet. But so because I was going to say, did they put out bids? Not, I don't think yeah. they did that yet. Yeah. I have a question about. Well, wait a minute. So so okay. so, so so Jenny, I, I think what are you what are your thoughts? It, it makes sense. You agree that we should go with a consultant? Okay. Okay. I mean, otherwise we're we, just sitting we waiting. We have to for two months anyway. Right. Um, but even if you re-advertise or you put more hours in, it's you, you don't know who you're going to get if anybody right, else. Right. It's it's learning learning either way. Way. It's going to take a while for someone yeah. to learn and do it effectively. Yeah. Right. I mean, she could cut back to 16 hours because she didn't could do it so right. well. Right. Someone coming in knew they're going to be overwhelmed. Right. But, but looking, looking at... Uh, some of the surrounding towns in particular, like there's there's three or four of them that have less than 20 hours. They're like 16 hours or 14 hours. And I think Cynthia has even said 16 hours is enough. She don't know what she would do with more than 16 hours. 
sitting here what, staring at the machine. But she's been she's been doing it for right three quarters right. of her life. So right, yeah. but other towns that have been doing it, you know, not uh, recent. I guess doing it currently is fourteen to sixteen hours just for that position without doing anything extra. Now that was the other option here of doing something extra for the town, other work, but. Are we going to, but then do you focus on the other work that, that person would do and not assessor work? And then you're back to training as an assessor. So yeah. at home, when you get somebody that's interested in more than, say, 20 hours, yeah. and, and I don't know. And talking here with administration, they, they can't say whether they would get anybody interested or not. They don't know. Right. Like, yeah. no, they don't no. have anybody on, on the hook that would come to work here yeah. to do both. So. And they would have to advertise anyway if that's the decision that you want yeah, for. Yeah, no, I think it makes sense. And 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 we could. Okay, so you okay? So we an agreement that we should go with the pursue the consultant route here. Yes. For the proposals that we have, proposal. We I have. agree. Okay. You agree, yes. Jenny? Okay. Now you have a question. Maybe. Yeah, uh, in looking at this, you know, G on yeah. the addendum or whatever, scope of so, service, so, yeah. responsibility include interacting with taxpayers, yeah. the board of assessors, right. and its office staff. Right. What does the board of assessors do once this? I mean, what are we doing? Well, because what are we hiring them to do that that we're not doing? Well, it's it's like we've been doing when we meet as a board. We've been signing signing documents, signing abatements, uh, property abatements, real estate. Uh, I mean, excise tax abatements, uh, uh, changes in in, in valuations. Uh, so we are. Data. So we so, would still. So we the, the perform board, monthly reports. Senior take yeah. care of senior exemptions. A butter's list, motor vehicle abatements. This is right. things they do. Right. So, so why are you saying we're doing them? No, they're they're responsible for that. But it's but it's we have to work out the, the detail on that. But but it's this board that has authority to approve them. They're gonna they're right. gonna do the paperwork, the clerical, the, the forms and fill it out and bring it to this board to sign off on it, like we currently same do. With... Same we do now. Now yeah, yeah. Now yeah, so we have a, we have the authority to do that. They they don't sign off on any of this or change evaluations without the board agreeing. Okay. And that's what we've been doing okay. all along. Now maybe it's not really evident that, that we do that. We we put a lot of trust in what Cynthia was doing because she was experienced and knew how to do it. So uh no, so they would what whatever they're doing and whatever requests they get for changes, either in property values or excise tax or, or whatever. Yes, they, they would, come here. Would come here, come to the board okay. for, for, our, for our approval or concurrence or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so that comes to the, up to the question of that person actually being in the office. Well, you would have to be to, to meet with us, or, or else they would send stuff in a, in a, electronically, and we would meet with them. Co now. Clerical right. coverage in the form of regular townhouse yeah. office hours right. Right. of approximately one day or two and a half days per week. Right. So why, why why are you questioning it? It says they do that. Yeah, it just needs to be corrected to town offices rather right. than town hall. Right. Okay, but that leads to the question. Uh, what what do we feel we want one day a week here or two half days? I don't know what 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 is the I mean I don't know how it was before. Well, that, that's you know, not since it was two days here, so uh, it was two full days. Two full days, yeah, and they're only proposing one full day or two half office, days. Two yeah. half days in office, so they're looking at eight or nine hours total. In, in in the in the office here, and the other the other days or times remote, which is like you know I so, told you on, on the New Salem and the, and the window ones right. that they're doing it remote. So 
do we want one day? And 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 they're they're saying the office hours are daytime hours, either eight to four or nine to five. That's it. If we have them here in this office in the building, if you go two half days, it's you know eight to noon or, or whatever, one to four, because the other two half days they don't want to go to Conway supposedly or somewhere else they're going to do. Okay. Now I haven't asked Conway how they want to do it because I think it, it's our decision. So this company, you it says here to inspect, review, and formulate recommendations on property. They don't inspect anything. Well, okay, we meant, did you just move to a different item? They, yes and no. They, they would do some inspections that they said, and we need to clarify this again. We need Lynn, to clarify a lot. Lynn, Lynn, is, Lynn is involved some in that. Uh, <laughs> they told me they were only doing inspections during the daytime. And their inspections would be a result of, of deed transfers, sales, or building permits, which we've been doing as well, but in the evening. So I asked the question of that person coming in the evenings when supposedly we do our inspections, assuming we continue with that. So they said, no, it wouldn't be during the daytime. So, uh, and then the chances of them finding somebody home during the daytime, maybe you, you, know, you don't know. So, so they would do very limited that. It's gonna come down to this board doing them inspections and telling them the results of our inspection. And then okay. they input that in. So, so it, it comes, it also comes down to, you know, do we continue doing inspections like we have? Well, we, for one, and do we want to do it in evening hours or during daytime when they're available here? And if know. we're still doing these things, yeah. you have to make adjustments on the budget because that's going to be, we're going to be paid, right? Well, you are. Right yeah. So, I mean, the bottom line is what's in the budget right now includes us. Right. And it always will. Right. So it cannot course, be, yeah. okay, yeah. just so I'm looking at it. This doesn't change that we have three assessors, da 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 da. So all we're getting is basically what she did. Nothing more at all. Okay. No, we're but getting, she came on inspection. True. We're getting what the other consulting firms did. Yeah. There's two consultants on here that we had Mayflower. Mayflower. You're talking and, about Mayflower? Yeah, Mayflower and the yeah. other ones were a utility yeah. assessment. So so that's so we're getting that in addition. Right. Right. That and they represent us at ATV. Oh, okay. If we have to go to to, to tax court to deal with a with a uh, property owner. Okay. Which it is could happen. We've right. had some some disagreement already, so right. so that could happen. So they would represent us for that and and do all the other stuff. Yeah, we, we still would hire a consultant to do the, the GIS and mapping updates, which is the uh, it's on your mapping GIS, and and also for the software, the different software is even twenty seven hundred. We have that would still continue. We would pay that in addition to the consultant fee. What we're paying? For, why are we paying for the software if the software is not being used in this office? No, it, it is being used by it was used by Cynthia. For, the Patriot software is what that is. We need software just to, to manage the database and also be so the, agreeable to DOR, I guess, that we have some way of doing it. Um, no, I understand that it needs to be done on Patriot software, right? But are they doing that here? Or are they doing that in their AGR or whatever well, office? Well, 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 they're, they're proposing to have access to, to Cynthia's computer here and all the data on there. Yeah, so, so they, they would use it. So they, they could do it. Okay, I mean, they remote would and also the database. Yeah, they for would sure. the database for sure. Either remote, they would access, or if they're here in the office, they could do it here. Uh, okay. And, and I, I guess, any of us could have had access to it. I mean, I mean, Cynthia, I think, is the only one that has access, had access to it. Maybe we never asked if we could, but 
I didn't want to get into that because, uh, you know, she played around with, with different scenarios and what the values were and in between. Had a, had a say to either the current one or the or the revised one in there somewhere, so it was still in there. I didn't want to get into that into right. argument, so the consultant would know that would manage that for us. Uh, no, I get that. Um, and. And you can see, you know, the consultant would answer a lot of these other questions that don't really pertain to property planning, pertain to inspections, I guess, you know, the services like I'm selling to waters, motor vehicle maintenance, well, property records, veterans, exemptions, they would know all that, valuation questions, okay. And so we have to find out whether or not so you have to get other bids in. right and so what what is our our preference here do we want that person one day a week here or two half days hmm. what well, would be better for the general public do you think that, I agree that's the question would would it be better because some people you know and get a, a, a one day off, but not another. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe two halves is better just because of that. But it's but it's again, it's daytime. It's not you know. Well, we we're yeah, that's yeah. right. It's going to be daytime. daytime. It's not going to be night. Right. End of conversation. Right. Okay. So, I would think two because then Joe Schmo has an option coming in on Tuesday okay. or Wednesday. That's okay. Right. And morning or afternoon? Do we have a preference? What? Well, I, ideally one each, but I think each. that, you know, juggling that with the current town staff and the other, and this organization and them juggling with the other towns they're working for, I don't really think we should try and dictate it. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Maybe we can just say two and a half days and they more or less decide within the framework yeah. of nine to five or whatever we they're not around we're not having any nights that's out of question so okay so then i guess uh, okay the next question is uh for us doing inspections in maybe well you're not available the whole month of may anyway so i mean i think Everybody has to be flexible where where we can do inspections. Well, the thing is, is that I can't I can't change from one week to the next to the next to the next, and that's what you tend to do. Well, I'm I'm seasonally employed, so that's the thing. But the inspections are subject to the agreement of the homeowners, so everybody has to adapt to when we can get in. Certainly it would be good to have some daytime inspections if that's the only times these people are gonna accompany us, this person, whoever they have. I didn't know they were gonna accompany us. Aren't they gonna be here? A lot of people aren't gonna want home inspection. I know you're gonna say, oh, they work from home. In this community, there, there's a, just as many people that are into agriculture. Oh, I know. Contracting. They, so they're not at home. No, I know. So, retirees, it might be. But uh, I'm never at home, and I'm certainly retired. My medical appointments should keep you out. Right. Yeah. My point is, though, that if these people are saying they will only do inspections during the daytime, yes. is it a goal to? have that person join us sometime. I don't know what the purpose would be. They're gonna do it or yeah. not. And the thing is you have to realize we have to, we can't decide, oh let's go out tomorrow. We you have to plan ahead. Yeah, yeah you have ahead. to send them something. Right. And they have, you know, so uh it's it's not as easy to be flexible as you may think. And, and I, we're going to have to commit to a time frame. Right. And this is when we're having inspections. And, and I don't know if I haven't been with us is an advantage. Yeah. 
It's, okay. It might not be. I just thought it might give us a better sense of I don't how they think, how they function. The person they're planning and hiring has no experience in real estate or appraising. So it's like, well, he's there and he's agreeing with what we what we see, what we come up with. That that's about it. Uh, I don't think we need them. Yeah. I don't think you'd serve because they're obviously that's not what we're paying yeah. paying for. We're because paying for everything else. Because right now it was the three of us telling Cynthia to change this or this or we agree with the value mm -hmm. to come up with. Or was the three of us deciding and finally approving it, not just Cynthia going and changing it. Or she'd go right. change it and then tell us the next meeting this is what it was and we all agreed, yeah, yeah okay. So uh it wasn't critical, I guess, that, that she went. It's it's more important that two of the three of us go, I guess, in inspections. Than the uh, new person. And it's new person. It and, and yeah, what, what Kathleen is saying, it would be a lot easier scheduling and and, and doing it if we agreed on a on a day, on a day of the week. So we could all plan on it to be available. No. I mean, that's what we did. We've done up until that's this point. This we've always done Tuesday. Right. Uh, I guess if I, I'm flexible for day of the week. I, I guess I have no desire but to change the it. Day, the day during your staying, go with days or what day? Monday to Friday in the evening, right? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. We, would, we would do. Uh, Occasionally, we get, you get said, well, as you know, you went some with Cynthia during the daytime. I went out to the were, daytime. Were available. And Businesses. That could, yeah, that could still be done, but yeah. the, the assessor in the office you know, would, would tell us that in a whole thing schedule, and maybe that's where they would go. Yeah. Participate in, but the evening ones, we, we would do ourselves. So can we pick a day? I mean, I, I guess I would prefer the Tuesday or Wednesday, like like we've been doing. I'm, I am flexible. I'm available five days a week, as long as I know it, and as long as we can do it consistently, because I have things to do. I go here, there, everywhere, and besides that, I'm definitely going to be leaving. I'm not staying. I can't uh, do this. Okay. So... I know you have to, look, but I'm not putting in my resignation till the middle of June or something. Right. So no. we're, we're talking for two months here, May. Yeah. Hopefully, May and June. Uh, okay. Um, yeah. Uh, my preference would be Wednesdays rather than Tuesdays, if that's a possibility. Okay. Well, we're both flexible, so we would do Wednesday at that. Okay, Wednesday, what? and what's best hours? Six, uh, I, six, seven, eight, and then go go till what nine or something? Eight thirty. Um, I mean, I, I. It's a good starting time. I will make two Wednesdays evenings available. The later in May, and I. I think I can do. So it's only two, two days two. in May, and there's one Wednesday in June I cannot do, but oh, the rest okay. I can. Okay. Um, so about one, two, three, five in true. May. You can only that's do two. True. And I'm I can do sure. two in June. Okay. So you say two in May and two in June. Yeah. Okay, that's all right. And I posted that agenda. Thank you. You're welcome. Sorry okay. to be last minute. Don't worry about it. And what, what time should work best for the May and June? Um, 6 30. Sorry, 6 30. Okay. So, okay, on um, May 8th, I'm in Florida. I'm on vacation. So there's one. May gone. What's the minimum number that we have to have? Just two. Just two. Does she have to be certified in any way? Because she's no, not. not sure. No, not yet. No, okay. Well, I thought there was one that she had to get. No. Okay. Uh, I think you have two years from the end of this. 
Sorry, right, right, right. right. yeah. huh. you haven't taken that course yet or anything else. No, so I think she's got another one here. So when you stay on, I, I mean, my plan uh, take out the papers or nomination papers. I so do. Okay, so we have two uh, two Wednesdays in May. Okay. Which Wednesdays are those? Um, the first. Bye. Okay, do we have anything? Do we have any May dates? Do we have any May dates that I could put in my calendar? Yeah, we just said the first. Oh, you're okay. away the eighth. Um, but I don't know if. The only thing I know is that we can schedule it for very soon because, you know, I've got to look at what Cynthia had to inspection, get the property, look at the property card, and yeah. send out the postcard. We're going to continue that for like two weeks' notice. So, yeah, to know that the third will get it up on May 1st. Yeah. Not. I would have to do that next week to get the two weeks out. I don't know if it's possible. Yeah. Maybe May is just going to be too busy or we just look at June. There's nothing saying that we have to do it in June. Well, I, okay, let's look at June. What, what's, what's, do you what have anything in June? In June. Yep. I don't have to fit. I have the 12th. Oh, okay. And the 26th. Okay, so short. Two, please. Okay. Okay. Don't okay. mark me until it's a short. Six thirty. Okay. So let's get let's put tentative on the schedule today. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll get something out in the mail. The new person help us. Hopefully, send that. Yeah, so well, um, there's plenty of you know, there's the 15th, 22nd, 29th of May as well. Yeah, you said 13th of May, 15th. Oh, 15th. Okay, so we'll get the yeah, right. Well, that's what we're looking at. Well, well, you thought the first no, might no. be too soon. Yeah, I, I think we need, we need to forget May because it, it, if we're going to deal with this person coming here and figuring out what. We don't have anything to do any, when we have go and do an assessment. Yeah. We're coming back. No one's going to take the material and do anything with it. Right. So maybe we should just wait until June. Okay. Right. Okay. And in June, you said the 12th was good and the 26th, yes. correct? Yes. Okay. On the 26th, okay. So we got two days. Let's, okay. let's go with that. Go okay. And then maybe by then we'll know. Okay. And we've got to figure out once we to get the cards and then to get back to the consultant. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah. what I think is going to be a hold up at, is any, if anything, is that the state says you have to go out and get the three bids yeah. because right. that's going to be time consuming to get well, the bids in, to get it. If, if that could start next week, and then there's, a, then there's a, I think, a two week, oh, two week advertising time, two week time. 
So if you're looking oh, okay. two weeks after, say, it goes out next Tuesday. Well, do we need to put it the months of May and June to bid? What? Do we need to put May and June to bid? Yes, because there is some papers it's coming out. Getting. There's stuff coming in. Except we can't do anything. My question is, if it's a two-month period, can you just select somebody to do it and then put the start of the fiscal year to bid? Oh, I uh, see. Who are we going to get to do it for May to June? These people. Oh, I see what you're saying. In, in between that time, I don't, I don't, I don't, just for two months. That's what I'm saying. Know. And I wouldn't do it if I were them. Why not? Give some the foot because the, you're learning all that stuff. They have but, to teach too. But they're well, putting yeah. their foot in the door for being hired going forward, going right. beyond. I think there, there's there's no there's no yeah. don't have that showed. Three showed three fiscal years. First year was, was partial because we're on the other one too. Okay, compensation. Yeah, I, mean, I didn't send you the other part of the contract talks for fiscal years. Yeah, 24, 25, and 26. 24 is prorated. So but you don't, I guess. But we you could, said if it's a year, you don't have to put it to bid. So a partial year, you wouldn't. Have to put to bid. No, we could do that because, well, the one that's under the, the dollar limit, and we could just pick that company to help us for two months to pick. So we could we could do that. And, and I think something needs needs to be done during the two months. I mean, we can't wait till July. Mm, that's why I'm suggesting that. Well, no, for for that person to do work here, but for us, for the board. Are you saying you want to wait till July to do inspections out in the field? I'm not saying that. I'm saying if the bidding process is what creates the delay, can we take advantage of the fact that the partial year doesn't require bidding? Right, yes, I think we can. We can do that. We can we can go today with that partial year. If it's under a dollar limit. And just say, you know, we, we if it's acceptable we, to them. Yeah. Well, we, 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 well I mean, the, the thing is, even if our recommendation is to right. take them right. for longer, yeah. we can't okay. Okay. confirm yeah. that okay. because okay. the bidding process is right. a requirement. Right. So, you know, we're showing them the good faith that we like we yeah. would like to work with them right. by saying, will you start in May? Right. And hopefully the bidding process should be done by the beginning of May. Are we sure of that? Uh, do we know for sure that we have to do that bidding? Yes. I thought you yes. said you didn't know. No, okay. No, that's what we were saying. Okay. But, but you know, if, if you're looking at your calendar, if the RFP goes out next Tuesday or Wednesday, the latest, what's two weeks after that? If it's a two week, a two weeks ad, yeah, that comes to what? Uh, on twenty fifth of April. Okay, we, we'll meet on the twenty sixth of April and decide to go with whoever submits a bid, and it, and that twenty sixth would would say that they start on May first. The consultant is is, I would say, kind of agreeable to that, but. You know, it comes down to, to the town legally agreeing to go with them. And all indications are right now that that we, I don't know, I don't want to say it, we're, 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 I don't know, comfortable or reasonable, it's a reasonable option to, to pursue. Mm -hmm. And I have not heard anybody say that it is not. And that we should not do it, or that the, the cost is too much. Nobody is saying that. So I, I don't see objections occurring after two weeks, period. Um, okay, let, let's. But do we that. can't, we can't, like I say, legally commit to it. Right. 
So we do that, and hopefully that we, we would meet that week, the day or two after the ad comes out, and decide, okay, we're going with this company or not. And and then the terms would be starting May 1. And What's there, the date today? 11th. The 11th. Okay. And, 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 so uh, you're saying in, you're going to publish, you're going to advertise? Yes. yes. Tuesday, Wednesday. I have to ask Lynn for sure what day. Tuesday, Wednesday would be two week advertised. Okay. So, and so but, two weeks from Tuesday or Wednesday would take you into May. To May. If you're saying this Tuesday, yeah, the 16th. Okay, it would take you. Yeah. One, two. Okay, May 1st. Okay. So, it, okay, May 1st, we would decide. That's why I'm saying just hire them for May and June. Yeah. And then ask them to along with whoever else wants to, to put in a bid for July. Right. For the fiscal year that begins in July. Yeah. But then we have a guarantee if they accept being hired for that the end of the year work will get done. I, I don't know if they want to do that. See, I don't either. But, you know, it's a nice thought, but I don't know if they're going to. Well, well they're going to, I mean, I think they'll agree on the hopes that they'll get the bid. Well, yes. And if they don't, well, they gave us two weeks, two months work, I guess. They worked here two months. So I, I don't know. I guess that's an option you could do. Because that's pushing the two weeks, you know, May 1 is to meet and decide. Yeah, that's, and, well, that's why I'm saying if we have the option to lock them in, yeah. Let's well, if, they, if they're agreeable, that's lovely. And, we'll see. and maybe they won't be agreeable. But if they're not, much, do, what period of time are they agreeable to? Because if it's here. anything beyond a year, then they have to go through a bidding process. Right. Oh, not for one year they don't? That's what he said. Oh, they don't yeah. have to go for one year? No, no, because the dollar limit would be under the Well, then why are we bidding. discussing? Why, why aren't we just doing them for a year? If we don't have to put it out to bid, I don't understand. No, we, we we need to get three. We, we have to invite. We have to solicit bids from three companies. Even if it's only a year. Yes. Okay. For a year. Yes. That's what I just. I thought you said. So we do need to do. Okay. Okay, and if they don't, well, then we're still gonna. We're still gonna. Do I, I don't know. I have to ask how the RFP, if it goes out now, whether it's going to be uh, two two months this fiscal year and then 12 months after. I, I don't know how she's going to work that. Yeah. See, that's why I thought yeah. she was going to be here. So, well, so these things happen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. So we're, we're looking just at, at June for doing inspections right now. Yeah. That okay, and we we prefer uh, okay, two two half days is what we're preferring here. And they need to understand that they're coming to the town offices, not the town right. hall. Okay, right. And see, we would have to meet with them at least once well, once a month mm -hmm. during like, the daytime. If they're only here daytime. Hours, so that's what they said. They did. That's what is, is once a month enough, or do we want every two weeks, or what? Once a month's fine with me for the time I'm here. So, uh, if we do, if we do inspections, well, well, they, they say they'll do additionally at our request. Yeah. So, I mean, some reminds me maybe it's every two weeks that we're doing inspections to talk to them, but yeah, okay. Okay, so uh, as far as the next meetings, okay. When you want to meet May, you're not the first week, you're say May 8th, you're, uh, you're yes, in, May 8th. You're I'm available that whole week of what time? No, I'm let's what see, I leave on up? Monday, Cinco de Mayo. I get back on Thursday. So, what one of the days in May you're not here? Fifth through the fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth. Fifth through the ninth. Fifth through the ninth, okay. It's my first first vacation in what eight years? Yeah. Okay. 
And Jenny, you available in, in early May for the need to maintain. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I would be available if we want to meet on the first to make decisions or, or 15, 16, or anything else. Besides May 8th, it's my birthday and I'm not coming in here feeling a bit Okay, good. Okay. So do you want to talk to Lynn about signing the yes. bids and then get back to us about dates? Well, is that going to matter? We, we're not going to. Well, I thought it wouldn't matter because we were going to decide. Well, right, but but it's going to depend on her finalizing the RFP and, and yeah, so and we, so yeah, I'll, I'll get back with you and tell you what, yeah. what we decided. But I don't know if we need a meeting though. Oh, I thought you said we needed a meeting. No, not on that. Not to oh. advertise. Unless you want to look at the RFP, or you're no, interested in you, looking at the no, RFP. You, no, when you said you needed, we needed a meeting. You said after the. Holds the yeah. date of the RFP, then we right. would need a meeting. Right, yes. And so I'm saying talk to Lynn, figure out. That's in May we're looking at. Yes, right, okay. Okay. We have time to, to work on that. Yeah, okay. So our next meeting would be in May. I'll keep you informed of okay. what happens and whether we're going to yeah. one contract to or hiring right now. Uh, Yeah, just let me know earlier rather than later. Okay. okay. Well, as much notice as I got. Yeah, okay. I'll let you know. Okay. Uh, uh, the other thing, uh, I, I look at your Cynthia's email every now and then. There was a notice there. Uh, Franklin County is having a meeting on May 2nd at Terrazzo's. Oh, that's a very nice restaurant. Yeah, at 5.30, meet, and then at 6, uh, kind of buffet dinner. Uh, if you're interested, uh, okay. let, let, me, let me know, because I think there's there's usually a, a, a charge for that. Anywhere from $30 to $50 yeah. that the town would pay. Yeah, we would invoice it so you don't have to get money out of your pocket when you go. Yeah. They would invoice the town for the the number of lots they want to go to. So I haven't seen an agenda yet. They're looking for items and gifts, but if you're interested. Well, but since I'm not going to be around that much longer, I don't know if that would be fair. Yeah, it's up to you if you want to go to Toronto's for buffet. I go there once a month. If I do, not for buffet, but yeah, we'll lunch and dinner. Yeah. It's a nice restaurant, yeah. especially when it's nice out. You can sit out on the patio. Like, yeah. okay. Do you play golf? No, oh. I haven't in years. So. Oh, they have a nice golf course. Do you play? No, I watch. Yeah. I'm good at driving, but that little put stuff on the green or on that, I okay. can't do that. Okay, so is there any other business we need to talk about? Not that I know of. Okay. Jenny, anything else? Okay. Okay. Motion to close the meeting. Aye. Close. Okay. Meeting is adjourned.